welcome. Today we want to solve this question and it is uh, given the function f of x, uh, which is y, is equal to 3x squared minus 4x plus 2, find the equation of the axis of symmetry of its uh, graph and its minimum or maximum value, if any. Okay, so we are looking at uh, graphs of quadratic functions. So a quadratic function is a function of this form y is equal to a x squared plus bx plus c. Uh, the equivalence of this is this. This is a and a window of x uh, plus p squared uh, plus q, where p and q makes up what we call the coordinates of the turning point. Now p is equal to b over 2a and q is equal to 4ac minus b squared over 4a. Now, what we are looking for is the axis of symmetry. Now, the axis of symmetry, which is x, is equal to negative p, which is equal to, we know our p is this one, so this will be negative b over 2a. Now, when you are given a quadratic uh, equation like this one, y is equal to 3x squared minus 4x plus 2, you need to identify which one is a, which one is b, and which one is z, c. But our axis of symmetry will be given by this, okay? So, from here, the coefficient of x squared is a, and the coefficient of x is b, and the constant term is z, c. So, from this, we can calculate the axis of symmetry from this equation. Okay, so we are going to have x is equal to negative, b is negative 4, so we are going to put negative 4 there, over 2, what is our a? Our a is 3. So this will be uh, 4, and this will be over 6. Okay. Again, when we simplify, we are going to have 2 over 3. So x is equal to 2 over 3 is the axis of symmetry. Now when you look at uh, these particular quadratic functions, a quadratic function of this format will be a parabola. The graph will be a para parabola. Now this parabola can open downwards or can open upwards. So depending on the value for a, this parabola will open uh, downwards or will open upwards. So if this is uh, positive, the parabola will open upwards. So this is for a greater than zero. This is for a less than zero, okay? So if a is less than zero, we are going to have a frown. In other words, if you are negative, you, you, have, you, you get a frown. If you are positive, you smile, okay? So that's the, the easiest way to remember. So depending on the value for a, we can have this one or that one. So when we come back to our equation, if you look at A, A is positive, so we are having a smile. Now, at this point here, that is where we are going to have the axis of symmetry, and this happens at 2 over 3, at X is equal to 2 over 3. This point here is what we call the turning point. So we have to, to identify whether it is a maximum or a minimum. So from A greater than 0, we can say that it is a minimum turning point. So we can get the coordinates. The coordinates here, they are negative p, comma, q. So what is remaining is for us to find q. So we are going to have a minimum at negative p, comma, q. So we've already calculated negative p, which is this one. We are going to calculate uh, q from this particular formula. So from our equation, we can see that a is greater than zero. So we are going to have uh, a minimum turning point. Now, this particular parabola is, uh, is symmetrical at the minimum or maximum turning point. But in our case, because A is greater than zero, we end up having a minimum. And the coordinates of the minimum uh, turning point is negative P, Q. If it was the maximum again, it would still be the same, the same thing. But what will happen is, here we've calculated uh, P, 
which is the axis of symmetry. So if you want to calculate Q, you can use F of negative uh, P. When you put negative P in this particular function, what you are going to get is Q. Or alternatively, you can use this particular formula. It's one and the same thing. But sometimes in an exam, it's very expensive to remember that formula. So you can just remember F of negative P. But I'm going to use that formula for our calculation here. I'll say Q is equal to 4 SC minus B squared over 4A. So I know the value for A, B, and C. I'll plug them there. Okay? Our A is 3. So this will be equal to 4. What is our A? Our A is 3. What is our C? 2 minus... Uh, minus uh, 4 squared over 4 multiplied by our a is 3. Okay, so this multiplied by that multiplied by that you are going to have a 12 a 24. So what we have is 24 minus this would be 16 minus 16 over 12. Okay, so when we subtract this, we are going to have, uh, okay, we are going to have 8 over 12. So we can simplify, uh, 4 there is uh, 2, and 4 there is uh, 3, okay? So the coordinates of the minimum uh, uh, turning point will be 2 over 3. Then comma 2 over 3. So this will be the coordinates of the minimum turning point. If we had the maximum turning point, again, we'll use the same procedure. But remember, you have to follow the coefficient of x squared to determine if it is a minimum or maximum. Okay? So for this and more videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget also to like uh, this video. Thank you.